I just, not just saw, it was actually a while ago, but I saw uh, the fabulous Filipino Brothers. This is Dante Bosco's directorial debut. Uh, you've seen him a couple times uh, on the channel. Uh, we've done uh, several things together. He's a good friend. He's a wonderful guy. And by pure coincidence, uh, I was vacationing in uh, Oahu, and he happened to be doing a movie tour, just going around touring this movie, and he brought these, uh, you know, really great musicians with and stuff, and did Q&A signing and all that stuff. And I just happened to be there at the exact same time, so I just met up Real quick, I met his family, who are all wonderful. We were supposed to go out for drinks, but I... I wasn't even, like, the f second full day I was there. I had really bad jet lag, so I couldn't do it. But I said, uh, I really like this movie, and I wanted to do a review of it. So, uh, this is my review. As you would guess, I do like this movie. Uh, for those that aren't aware what it's about, uh, this is super, super, super loosely based on his family. What I mean by that is it has kind of the personality traits uh, of Dante and his brothers, uh, but they're... <laughs> it's very clearly not exactly them, because uh, some of the things they do, they probably would not admit to. <laughs> uh, you know, some characters are married when they're really not in real life. Uh, you know, other characters are doing things that, you know, that they just don't in real life. But it has their very, very loose... Uh, uh, it's heavy, I should say, uh, personality traits about them. And what I really like about this movie that I think is another reason I really want to do a review on this is I saw the trailer to this and it looked good. It looked like a good movie, but I got an idea of the kind of film I was gonna see. It's the kind of film you see a lot of first-time directors doing a semi-personal story do. It's, hey, I'm just gonna... Flat out tell the story of my life and my family, whatever. I'm just going to use different names. And that's it. And, and exaggerate one or two things. And that's not what this is. This is a comedy. This is a straightforward, it wants to make you laugh. It wants to give you a good time. It really, really wants to entertain you. And it's taken from this uh, family, particularly the interactions of these brothers, uh... And even then, the interactions is not the main thing. What they do, which I think is very clever, and again, kind of threw me off in a good way, was that they focus on a different story for each one. So you'll focus on one brother going off on some sort of crazy-ass thing going on, then you'll focus on another brother and, uh, you know, something strange that happens to him. And they're all kind of meeting at this wedding, and sometimes they're telling the story, sometimes they're just having a flashback, and all of them are very, very funny, and they all have interesting stories. Some are, uh, you know, a little longer than others. Some are very, very short. But again, you get kind of the personality of them uh, pretty quickly. And the best analysis, I, or best comparison I can think of for this is that it is like a sitcom, but a very funny sitcom. There's definitely times where it can get a little corny in a loving way, though, because suddenly not only will you be watching a sitcom that has a ton of swear words in it, which is always great, but they'll throw in out of nowhere something just ridiculously dark or really shocking or just out of nowhere. And I think by having this setup where you have, you know, this sort of set up a joke, deliver, you know, and the audience, if you're watching with or yourself, you know, has a good laugh and stuff, uh, you know, which, which is great. You know, I, I like classic sitcoms and everything, but it's really wonderful when suddenly you have just something so out of left field comes in and just genuinely shocks you. Uh, the ending particularly uh, to Dante's story in this really made me laugh hard. Like, I, I think to a point where everyone else was done laughing and I'm still, <laughs> like, really, really snickering, trying not to keep laughing. And when, when you see it, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, uh... Uh, yeah, I like that it focuses on, uh, on them one at a time, but you do see them get together, you see them interact, and it is one of those movies, too, where you can watch it on your own, not, not know anything about Dante or his family or anything, and still really enjoy it. They're, they're just funny, uh, characters, and the lines are funny, it's got some good visual comedy as well, but the more you dive into it, the more fun stuff 
you discover. Uh, for example, the main characters and all the brothers are named, you know, that they're, they're D names, you know. And it turns out, uh, you know, they're based on, uh, you know, they come from their father and their father had, I guess, uh, three brothers as well. And they all had D names also and they're named after you know, the, the the uncles and father pretty much. So, like, a little detail like that, you don't need to know that, but that's a really cool thing. And this movie was apparently shot, like, I think just a little over two weeks, and yes, you can tell it, it's a first movie, but the fact that this was shot in over two weeks and it looks this good is pretty impressive. And it is one of those where, like I said, it just has a lot of laughs, but it definitely has uh, stuff you'd probably be looking for in a movie like this, too, where it does have a lot about uh, Filipino culture, uh, but it's not... How do I put it? It's not something where you need to go in knowing a lot about Filipino culture. It's also not too much of a history lesson either. It really finds that good balance of it's there to entertain, it's there to make you laugh, but you're going to learn some stuff too. And it happens very organically. Like there is a narrator explaining what's, uh, you know, going on, a little bit of the personalities and such, but it very organically lets the culture and uh, and their interests and everything uh, really sink in, in a fun way, in a way that doesn't feel like it, it's trying to, like, force it in or anything. It really, really feels like uh, it, it's a part of the story and a part of the narrative. So, story and narrative are the same, you know what I mean. Uh, I'm trying to think... What else about this movie? It really is one of those where I kept expecting it to go too serious. Because, uh, you always, again, you always see this in kind of these personal stories where uh, you'll have some funny moments and they'll just go out of nowhere, super dramatic. Ha we tricked you! It's a drama! And it's really not. And honestly, I don't have a problem with movies that do that if they do it well. But this one really is here to make you laugh, to entertain you. And again, that's one of the reasons I really wanted to do a review on it, because I saw the trailer giving the impression it was going to be like that. But it, it doesn't quite do that. It does surprise you in other ways. Like I said, it can go uh, a, a little shocking and really dark uh, here and there. But there's still kind of that zany wackiness that blends with it, too. I don't know. I'm kind of a sucker for blending something that's like really really mean-spirited and dark but also zany at the same time but this one again also has a lot of heart to it you know it is about this family and uh how they uh work off each other uh and then the one thing i won't go into spoilers but one thing at the end i remember i was watching this because there's i don't want to say there's a surprise or, or, or a twist necessarily but there is something that was kind of hidden and they bring it to the forefront at the end like oh there's actually like another group of people that's being focused on it without you knowing it and my first thought was well shouldn't the story have been about them though if that's like the big thing at the end but then when i was thinking back i'm like no, that there was a lot of focus on them. That there was a lot of uh, detail, and they were all, you know, interesting and, and uh, layered and stuff. You know, they just weren't the main focus. So I did at first kind of go back and forth on that, but the more I let it sit, the more I was like, no, this this works. This actually really does work. Um, and when I saw this, uh, you know, I saw it at a theater, it was a packed house, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's in Oahu, you know, it, it was a very large, you know, Asian audience there, and the reason I bring that up is that there's definitely some scenes, you know, I was laughing at, you know, sometimes more than everyone else, but then there's also scenes where, you know, I got the joke and I laughed, but they were really laughing. So I feel like there's some scenes that are... It's not something where you need to be Filipino to get this or Asian to get this. Uh, but I feel like there's going to be some scenes where it's going to hit you harder uh, if you are. And at the Q&A afterwards, there were a lot of people saying that, like, oh, man, thank you for talking about this or thank you for representing this here. You know, I don't get to see that in uh, represented in films that often. So it, it sounds like they got the job done, too, in terms of, like, getting across uh, this culture and getting it across in a funny and entertaining way so uh if you're looking to check this movie out last i checked i think it was on uh, i think it's on amazon i think it's on apple uh i saw somewhere like maybe in parts of the world it's on netflix but when i went there i, I didn't see it but uh once in a while it popped up but uh yeah i think it's on voodoo as well so um yeah 
I recommend it. I think it's a real good time. It's definitely a comedy first, so if you just want to get people together and have a good laugh, I think this is a good movie to watch. It's definitely an R. You know, keep that in mind. I'm talking about, you know, sitcoms and being corny and stuff, but I mean, it's like, it's an R, <laughs> you know, and for good reason. So it is one of those movies where I feel like that's part of the fun, though, where it sort of makes you think it's going to be one thing and they'll just throw in a bunch of swear words and, you know, once again, some shocking uh, or just out of nowhere dark humor, which is always really, really great. Uh, so... I really enjoyed it. If you haven't seen it, definitely check it out. If you have, uh, let me know what you think. Like I said, there are several places you can stream it right now. I think it's definitely worth checking out. Uh, that's about it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.